Give me first John chapter two, verse one. The scripture says, my little children, these things write I unto you that ye sin not. Why is John writing this letter to you? He don't want you to sin. Does Christ want you to sin? No. Who wants you to sin? Satan does. So who's going to tell you that it's perfectly okay if you sin? Only Satan is going to tell you, hey, your life is going to be better if you just do whatever you want to do. Your life will be better without the law. That's what Satan says. My little children, these things write I unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the father. What does an advocate do? He speaks for you. He represents you, right? Right? Okay. We have an advocate with the father. Who is it? It's Jesus Christ, the righteous. Now give me verse two, because that word is about to pop up again. And he is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours only who's the hours that John is talking about in there he's talking about Israel not for Israel only but also for the sins of the whole world see his, his blood is powerful enough to cover to cover all the sins of everyone who believes that he is the propitiation what if I don't believe it I'm still in my sin then. <laughs> I'm running around here a sinful person because I don't make animal sacrifices and I don't believe that he was the last per perfect sacrifice. So I'm covered in sins if I don't believe those things. But if I do believe that he was the final payment and I don't need to sacrifice animals anymore, I need to repent and I have a grace period that will allow me time to get it right. Even if I fall down, I have time to get it right. I just praise God. I repent for my sins. I turn from my wickedness. I throw the thoughts of iniquity out and I get back on the path.